ready to order, ladies? Yes, and um, I have the soup. Um, yes, um, the soup. Soup? Yes. What about the aubergine and tomatoes and feta? <laughs> <laughs> so that's three aubergine and tomato with feta. Actually, sorry, no. Um, I'm going to have the soup. Yes, I want the soup. Um, sorry. Um, what's that lady got over there? Because that looks delicious. Oh yes, sorry. I, I'll have one of those. Yes. How about you? Yes, yes definitely. Yes, whatever. Yes. So that's thing. three <laughs> lamb provence. Oh, not lamb. We don't oh, eat meat. No, no, we're vegetarian. I don't know where we're going to find anything in. Where are we again? Tammy girl. Tammy girl? Mm. For my Kirsty's wedding. I am mother of the bride, for goodness sake. So what do you want to do? Go to Wallace and look like every other mother? Anyway, that outfit looks lovely on you. See? You know what you want to do? Just buy it, take it home. If you don't like it, bring it back. Bulimic shopping's what I call it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I saw Nicole Kidman in something very similar to that in her own magazine. You never. And she's a ginger. Well, it's no good. We look crap in these mirrors. That's because they're distorting. Oh, are they? So let's find that really short in them then. Oh, yes, you do. So we give it really short. <laughs> okay, now breathe and into beetle. That's it. <laughs> now, this position I think they do during transit sex. <laughs> Transit sex? Yeah. What's that? Something you do between terminals three and four? It's tantric sex. <laughs> oh, is it? You seem to be obsessed with sex. Oh, you mustn't be joking. You know, by the time George just walked the dog, locked up, climbed the stairs, I am fast asleep. <laughs> Breathe and into dog. Yeah. I know what you mean. Oh, I can't be bothered. A quick armpits and crutch and I'm in bed. Dog leg right. You should be bothered. It's really good for your face. Dog leg left. Not on your face. I've heard it all now. No, not that. It's the oestrogen stimulation. It makes you look younger. <laughs> your husband is so cunning. What? <laughs> Breathe and into fish. Oh, I just remembered. I did let George have sex the other week. Trouble is, he keeps asking me to join in. <laughs> <laughs> Breathe and into plough. So, you're still looking for a job, Sharon? Yeah, but at my age, what can I do? It's always voluntary work. You could do Meals on Wheels with me. Yeah. Yeah. You could see directly into the future, <laughs> then. <laughs> into plough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, do you know I'm right? These mirrors are distorted. I never have these lines in my mirror at home. I look much younger. Mm. Yeah, no, I was thinking the same thing. Thanks very much. No, I mean about my lines. Uh, anyway, I won't have them much longer because I tried that new Preparation H on my eye bags. Preparation H? Yeah, all the celebs use it. It's not work yet, though, so I'm also using it on my piles. <laughs> oh, well, at least you didn't waste it. Mm. So, how's your daughter? Oh, you know, no job yet. But I don't believe in rushing them through childhood, do you? I mean, they're only young ones, aren't they? Absolutely. So how old is Isabel now, Susan? 29. <laughs> oh, she ran me the other day from Australia. She says, Mum, she says, I've just got into this bungee drinking. <laughs> binge drinking. Oh, okay. <laughs> binge. <laughs> I know, I know. So is Tristan. Isn't it lovely? They have vomit contests and everything. <laughs> so glad he's found himself a hobby. Well, apparently it's a very good way of making friends. Yes, yes, I know. They all have their funny little habits, don't mm. they? The twins are still on crack. It's just a phase. I take my bra off, I discover a whole new meaning to fall out. Look, that's where my boobs should be, and they're down there. They seem to be gravitating towards my knees. I need a harness to keep them up soon. <laughs> it's when your pelvic floor needs a harness you need to worry. Mm. What is wrong with this skirt, Julia? <laughs> Nothing. You just need to wear it on your hips. Oh. <laughs> and wean yourself off the granny knickers. <laughs> it's no good I've tried. She's addicted to those big knickers. You can mock, but they're comfortable, spacious, and they hide my HRT patch. Oh. You make them sound like a Volvo estate. <laughs> well, they're not like them thongs. You know the last time I wore them? 
They nearly cut me in half. Yeah, that was because you wore your gusset on your hip, remember? <laughs> so I did. How did I manage to do that? I have mm -hmm. no idea. You see, going back to Izzy, I think the problem with her is she can't get a job because she's overqualified. Overqualified, yes. I know, I know. So is Tristan. It's so hard for them nowadays, isn't it? Tristan is thinking of taking a full gap year. Honestly, what happened to us growing old gracefully, eh? Oh, that's just something you say at 40, isn't it? No-one really means it. Oh, right, so you get to 50 and you're in Tammy Girl trying on kids' clothes for your daughter's wedding. I'm sorry, girls. I think it's time we binned our leopard skins and thongs and got into things like, well, Saga Radio, um, Elasticated Waist and Mints. Oh, I just fancy a mint. Have you got any? No. I mean, look at us. We're mutton. Mutton? Us? 